Hey everybody, it's Mike AK, that card guy. Got some great sales that happened this weekend, so I want to show them to you. And uh, yeah, we got some sports cards, we got some non-sport cards, graded cards, packs. We got a little bit of everything here. Let me pull up my screen so I can get the exact prices for you so I don't have to guess as to what they sold for. But we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We got like nine different items. First up, we're going to show you the uh, non-sport stuff. We got Survivor. Yeah, the game Survivor, the TV show, reality show Survivor. This is from the original series, uh, season one. They made a collectible card game for these. I bought a bunch of packs of these at the local sports auction. Didn't pay too much for them. I originally had them in my store for $9.99 for three packs. And I only sold one of those lots probably over the first... Uh, I mean, it's probably been a year since I bought these originally. I lowered the price over the weekend to $7.99 for three packs, and I got two sales. So I must have hit the right price, $8 and $8, different buyers on the two lots of those. I still got a ton of those packs to go, but a great little sale on that. A couple more cheap little items. We have soccer. Soccer's going on World Cup. Getting towards the end of it here, and maybe that piqued some interest in some soccer cards. These are Prism Cracked Ice, just a little lot of the premier league stuff uh, i don't think there's any big names in here sold for like 12.99 plus shipping i know i said i was going to bring up the screen and look at it so i didn't have to get it wrong so uh, i was way off 7.99 another 7.99 sale uh this one this one i think was 12.99 let me scroll to see where that one is because no it was 14.99 i'm not going to get any prices right uh today james wiseman yeah i had a bunch of these cheap rookies of a lot of these guys patrick williams uh, James Wiseman, Tyrese Maxey, a lot of those players from last year. These are mainly from Chronicles. I think there's a couple prisms in here as well. Kind of stuff that sells for 50 cents to a buck a piece. I just figured I'd bundle them, bundle them all together. 26 cards, one for $14.99. I don't know. That's somewhere around 60 cents per card. I'm happy with that for uh, James Wiseman. A couple more packs, but these are really cool. Uh, these were ones that I found at the local box lot auction just a regular auction house not a sports specific auction or anything but these are from squirt from 1980 little sealed packs you get three cards per pack so there could be a ricky henderson or some other cool hall of famer in these packs they don't sell for a ton i mean you're only getting three cards i think these sell for like five dollars a pack somewhere in that range i bundled the three of them together and got 14.99 plus shipping i think the best one i had with anybody showing was this leaders with ron gidry and jr richard uh, the other ones had Dane Org and that guy there. Who was that? Lee Lacey. Yeah, so cool. I mean, these were really awesome. I mean, you probably bought like a 12-pack or something, and uh, you got some squirt cards. Or so, and you got some of those 1980 Tops cards way back in the day. All right, next one. This has actually a really good card. Something that I knew was going to be a very long tail item when I got it. It's a Nomar Garcia Para. Insert card from Pacific Dinagon, but if you can see right down here, it's the TI, which is titanium parallel card. And on the back, it's very tiny. Pacific back in the day, it was hard to see the serial numbers. This is numbered out of 99. Now, number nine out of 99 isn't uh, very low numbered in today's standard, but back in the 90s, to get cards numbered out of 99 was pretty rare. Had this in my store for quite a while, again, probably at least a year or so, but I know you're trying to find the right buyer that either collects Nomar or collects Red Sox, and they're a completist. They want every single card of that player. I originally had it in my store for, I think, like $70 or $80. Yeah, I had it priced that high. Sent out some really good offers over the weekend, and uh, especially for items like this that have been in my store a while. Went for $44.99. So I still got $45 for this card. And if I'm correct, I think I picked this up in a dollar box at a card show. So I'm not 100% positive. It's been a while since I got it, but I think that's where I found that card. All right, last. We got three more cards to go. These are all graded cards. We're going to go in order of a dollar amount, I think. I think a couple of them are very similar in price. So let me double check my screen, scroll up. All right. Yeah, we're going first. We're going with Tom Brady. He did not have a good weekend. Uh, he uh, really struggled uh, against the 49ers. But right here, we got a Topps Chrome from 2000. I think that's 2015. Yeah. Oh, the glare is terrible. 2015 Topps Chrome graded a PSA Gem Mint 10. Picked this up from a friend in his Whatnot auction. He gave me a really good deal on it. I believe with the taxes and shipping and everything, I probably paid about $20 for this card. It sold for $59.99 plus shipping. So yeah, 60 bucks plus shipping on that. I got to go up a couple spots to find this next one because I want to make sure I got the price right on it. All right. Yeah, this was one that I had sent off for grading myself. Uh, Tom Sievert, 1968 Tops. It's a fantastic card. It's gone up in value a decent amount here over the last few years. This card was beautiful condition. 
Uh, but just looking at it, we weren't sure. And I say we, me and me and a friend of mine that checked this out that deals in a lot of vintage. We first off, we weren't sure if it was trimmed in the slightest. Uh, it looked like it could have been. We weren't 100% sure. It matched up to cards pretty well. And then it also had kind of a strange feel to it. Like I wasn't 100% sure that it was a legit non reprint or fake card. So with all those uh, factors, I figured I'd just send it, send it into SGC for grading. I thought it would come back about a five. That was what I was thinking. It actually ended up coming back a four, but it's still, it's just a beautiful card. It's pretty well centered. I mean, this is a great card with a little rookie cup trophy there. Great looking Tom Seaver card. I believe this is his second year. Uh, ended up selling it for $69.99 plus shipping. So yeah, I got $70 for it, even though it's an SGC4. So yeah, most of the comps were going for a lot lower than this, but I knew this card presented really well, and I was asking at the very top range of what a four was going at. So yeah, to get $70 for that, pretty happy. And the last card we got here, we got MJ. Yeah, this 19, I think it's 94, 95, finest card. Let me see, 94, 95, is that what it is? Yep, 94, 95, tops, finest, Michael Jordan. Another card that I send for grading myself. Bought this here locally. I did take the peel off of it. Uh, th those of you that don't know, these finest cards when they're made, they have this little protective film over the top that keeps it from getting scratched. But if you send that in, if that film is still on it when you send it in for grading, generally you don't get very good grades because there's always a lot of little nicks and scratches in that peel, as it's called. So I peeled it off very carefully. I knew that that way the surface was going to get a very good grade, and I ended up getting an SGC9 on that one. Yeah, this is a great... Michael Jordan card. I considered keeping this for myself. I don't really collect Jordan graded cards or anything, but this card was so cool. It was one that I found. It was one that I sent in for grading and got back a nine. Had it in my store for $119.99 plus shipping. Someone sent me a little bit less of an offer, about 10% off, and I went and took it. $105 plus shipping for the Michael Jordan. So yeah, I had some really great card sales this weekend. I want to share them all with you. So uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit subscribe button, hit the thumbs up, and uh, leave, leave me a comment down below. Let me know which one of these was your favorite. All right. Thanks everybody for watching. I'll see you next time.